Hey there guys, uh, this is the Sputnik table, seven turns in, uh, France fell as France often would, however you'll see the Republicans are pushing pretty hard here, but the Nationals still have a pretty good hold up. Allies are stubbornly holding on to on Poland, we'll see for how much longer, but they've aligned Romania are ready to, to push in. I can expect that they'll finish up cleaning up uh, Yugoslavia shortly. Major, major actions in the in the Mediterranean, though. The That's Italians sweet. just fought a critical fight to the to the bone there, and just managed to take Egypt with a pair of brave, brave infantry. Let's see how the Allies uh, respond to that. The Soviets have been having very, very poor income dice rolls, so they're armies are small they are doing main gambit to go ahead and swing at uh, Finland but as you can kind of see they don't have much of anything troop wise yet to, to deal with the Mid East over in the Far East CCP is just non-existent almost just a shell of themselves Japan has moved themselves into a pretty dominant position but there is a massive massive KMT army This is the KMT army hanging out in uh, Yunnan. Not entirely sure the Japanese are going to deal with that yet. Looks like the FEC have mostly fled Calcutta, trying to limit the damage of a surprise strike. Japan themselves have all of China trying to decide where they're going to move next. And Sydney is maybe a tempting target. Not, not much left to go in there. So let's head over to head on over to Red October. First bit of sexiness has to be the CCP. It's only been eight turns. Uh, about to start turn nine here. CCP in a pretty dominant position. Uh, they will be completing their heavy factory. They'll be starting rolling for technology rolls. Japan has a small army in play, but most of their army is here. They did surprise strike Calcutta, wiped out almost the entire FEC army. I expect we'll see them explode here, and I imagine do a jet back here into, into DEI and sweep all those up. Because the downside of all this is America's coming. Fleets are on its way. Japan's going to have to hurry. Meanwhile... Over in Africa, massive Italian force building up, but equally massive British force holding on to Egypt. Uh, DAC hasn't dropped down yet, but we expect it may soon. Meanwhile, in Europe, the uh, Poles have been stubbornly holding on, although perhaps not for too much longer. But they did put a thumb in the eye in the, uh, to the Germans in Romania. Again, not much for the Soviets. They've had very poor income dice. Um, but they did finish up this one right ahead of the other one. So uh, that's why they, they finished up uh, Finland, but have not yet moved into the Mideast yet. So we'll see what goes on from there. And then a couple of large fleet engagements may be coming up. See what the Germans decide to go from there. And Spain, not entirely over, but you can see almost a, a coin flip the, of the different ones. The Republicans are just really just holding on for till the end here in Catalonia, and we'll, we'll see how much time it takes before the nationalists overwhelm them. And, uh, here's my recaps. I'll uh, see you all in a couple.